But I just gave you guys a whole recipe to change right then and there. To change binge eating, to change you being overweight. I just gave you a recipe right there. Hey boos, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel. If you are new, if you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Keisha. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on your way out if you enjoy content like this. Also follow me on my socials at Keisha Rose too and hit that post notification bell before you leave so you'll be notified every single time I upload. You won't miss a video. Give me a like on this video as well. You guys, um, I'm super excited about today's video and I really wanna tread lightly. If you guys wanna hop right into the meat and potatoes of this video, as I always say, Say, just go ahead and fast forward to the number that you see right here but I want to tread lightly with this video because it is a sensitive topic and um, I'm going to dive deep in today's video and I really want to get you guys attention and um, correlate just this binge eating with weight loss and just leveling up your life all in all period talk about my experience how I overcame it and just give you guys some tips that will help you along the way so we're going to keep it about weight loss as well but we're going to add in binge eating and I'm going to add binge eating into my videos a lot more often because it's not talked about it's a, it's pretty taboo because I don't feel like it's talked about enough here on the internet and a lot of people don't realize that these are reasons that they're not losing weight these are reasons that they're having high um, high blood pressure and health issues and a, a whole bunch of other things so I want to dive into that but I did want to say you guys listen I know that we are in heavy see we're coming up into heavy happy season and what i mean by that you guys know with the fall everybody want to be in the house eating everybody wants to make meals and start all of a sudden experimenting with pinterest meals and meals that they see on youtube or meals that they see here that's very hearty very filling very oil based that is very sauce based you guys know how i feel about those sauces and adding a bunch of sauces into your meal so be careful with that and what i do want to do is encourage you guys to stay on your journey stay on your grind a lot of times those summer bodies are made in the winter and fall time stay encouraged stay on your grind and you guys if you are overeating or finding yourself doing things you're not supposed to do make sure you're getting your cleanses in your detoxes in. you guys know i love me some teamy detoxes you guys know if you've been following me for a while i do these detoxes a couple Couple of times a year just to clean out my body of course I eat super healthy so lots of fiber and stuff like that so I don't have a hard time when it come down to my digestive system or anything but I do still like to get my teamy detoxes in and I'll put it up on the screen for you guys and you guys guys can get a detox kit of course I have a, have a code for you guys you guys can use quiche 20 and it'll get you 20% off you can get started with your detox kit but what I do you guys see here on the screen I use the skinny tea during the day and you guys can see that is a loose leaf tea and I use the colon tea at night and for the skinny tea I just put it in my tumbler with some hot water let that sit squeeze some lemon in there and I'm good to go with the colon tea is going to help you regulate just your your system when it comes down to going to the restroom I don't want to get too graphic here but it is something that definitely works and I just use that every other night and this is a 30 day detox so I really recommend it you guys like I said we are coming up on these times where you're going to need something to help keep you on track and I recommend digging deep inside and finding out why you wanted to lose weight in the first place why you wanted to be on a journey in the first place and stick to that because this time is a very very trying time for those who want to lose weight or those who's struggling with just eating all in general overeating and all of that stuff you guys know I've been on this journey I've been on this road I've been down this Role plenty of times and I think that's why you guys um, love to watch me because I'm very very candid and open with my journey so stick to your journeys stick to your calorie count until you get to your goal get you some teamy quiche 20 will get you 20% off the link is down below if you are new to my channel this is I'm not new to this binge eating I am not new to being overweight I am not new to losing weight I lost a whole bunch of weight over 100 pounds in less than one year by cutting out things in my life by just doing the things that I know that I needed to do I'll show you guys pictures here on the screen videos of myself it's here all over the internet for everybody to see and I put it out there just to encourage you guys along the way 
and one thing that i don't talk about often is the binge eating of it all and if you're a binge eater i know how hard that can be i was i was down that road as well so i'm very familiar with what goes on and not not specifically in your head per se but i know what goes on the the thoughts that you have um the misery that you feel even after you're, you eat the meal you eat the meal to get some type of satisfaction and then after you eat it you feel miserable after as if you did something to your body and it's just a repetitive cycle a hamster wheel that you just can't hop off of each day you say okay I want to lose weight tomorrow I want to get healthy tomorrow I want to stop binge eating tomorrow and I'm dead set serious on what I want to do and I'm going to do it right next day come two o'clock come whatever time come you are and it's not just you were eating because you're hungry or eating it might start to start off as that but then it escalates to something else it starts off as that you're hungry but then it it easily escalates i know how this go i know that roller coaster so if you if that's you continue watching this video because i have some helpful tips in this video that'll help you to stop binge eating help you to level up your life help you to lose weight if that's your goal um because it goes a lot deeper than just saying i'm I'm going to lose weight it goes way deeper than just that and a lot of people don't realize that once you get it it, it becomes a snowball of just goodness and you leveling up and stopping the binge eating stopping the overeating and all of that stuff so i know how that go and i hopped off of that train it took me some time and um some effort self-love self-care so i just want to talk about that let's talk about being fat for a second okay a lot of people don't realize that what they're doing is getting them fat a lot you guys have no idea how many dms how many messages emails and everything i get of people saying keisha i don't know where to start i'm overweight i'm i'm, I'm just don't know where to start and to me in the beginning of my journey well when i got to where i wanted to be as far as my weight the first time i was like why do why, why is people so confused you just stop eating you just do this and like it took me a second to go through my journey a couple of times to get it like oh I'm, I, I understand now that because in the beginning of my journey I was a lot younger my journey started years ago probably about six years ago right when I first lost my weight it took me to go through life issues life problems and a lot of other different things in order to realize that it's not just your current situation that is making you overeat. It's things that you go through in life. It's the pain, it's trauma, it's a whole lot of different things that you have to really dissect and understand and pull back the layers of and say, okay, I want to stop doing this because a lot of people don't realize when it come down to overeating and being healthy that is the lowest on the totem pole when it come down to just everything that is on your mind every single day you're thinking of work you're thinking of taking care of the kids you're thinking of your husband yourself dinner this this and that and when you think of health that's on the lowest of the totem pole but that is the most important thing that you can do is take care of yourself and make sure you are okay make sure you're mentally okay make sure you're your body is okay make sure your health is okay from the inside out it, it helps stop diabetes it helps stop blood pressure issues it helps stop all of the, these different things that people think oh it's hereditary I don't care what is hereditary in your family you can kick it by just changing your lifestyle changing the way that you eat changing the way that you just scale back on food things are reversible you can trump something that's hereditary in your family by just changing what you do how you eat your activity I'm going on a long tangent but I think it's very very necessary and overdue when it come down to my channel and just talking about health because one thing is I'm a mother and um, I'm a wife I'm a woman and I know how hard things can be and I don't feel like I t I'm as candid um, as I could be on this subject and I get too many messages, too many messages of women just wanting to change their lives, women that are overeating, women that are in the shoes that I was in. 
too many of those messages I get just to not talk about these things. So let's get into the categories of binge eating, overeating, and all of that, right? So you have those of us who, this is how I was. You know you're binge eating. You know what you're doing is horribly wrong. You know you need to stop, and you know you're driving yourself down a slippery slope that is going to do nothing for you but destroy your health, right? You have those people. Right? You have the people that are literally confused, that don't even think about it, and just overeating. Eating and fat and really just don't care left or right who cares regardless then you have the third person who was severely in denial and, and a lot of these people reach out to me and I just want to say listen you're doing it all wrong you're overeating but I can't do that of course I don't want to be that cutthroat with anybody I wouldn't dare do that that's not even my personality but you have those people that are eating right they'll eat probably like one time a day and then um, eat a bunch of stuff with a whole bunch of calories and, and then they'll eat, when I say one time, I don't mean one thing, I mean once a day. So you'll eat, let, let's take a McDonald's meal, you'll eat that and then you'll eat some brownies on the side and then you'll eat that, you'll have a Coca-Cola on the side, you'll eat that, your coffee, so many different things and then they'll turn around and say, Keisha, I don't even overeat, I don't even eat a lot. And I'm like, what do you eat every day? They break it down and I'm like, you're overeating, right? So you have a couple of different people. And if you're in any of those boats, you're a binge eater. You're an overeater. If you're fat nine times out of 10, you're an overeater. So we're going to get down to the bottom of how to knock that out the park and how to stop that all together, different tips and methods. So, so these are a couple of different things that help me. Sorry, I just realized my camera was out of focus. So if I've been out of focus this whole time, I do apologize. But these are different things that have that helped me. First of all, being tired. You have to be tired of binge eating altogether. You have to be tired of being overweight altogether. It has to be something that click in your mind that say, okay, whatever your name is, I'm tired. I want to stop. I want more out of my life than sitting here overeating. Once you have that down, then that's where the change can begin. Change start with wanting to change, with wanting something different. So once you have that, you can be well on your way to somewhere real steady in your life. After that, after you realize you want to change, you have to realize what it is that you're binge eating for in the first place. I don't care how many times you start and stop a journey. You guys have seen me, most of you guys who are here, have seen me gain weight, lose weight, gain weight, lose weight. And until you understand and get it in your mind while you're doing this in the first place, nothing is going to change. I don't care how many times you stop, you're going to stop because it's like an addiction, right? A lot of times what people don't tell you is a lot of things in these foods. This is why I push whole foods, a lot of whole foods, because a lot of times when you're eating out at these restaurants, they're adding things in this food that are making you addicted that are triggering, that is triggering all the good responses in your mind, in your body that make you want to come back for more. So these things are addictions. It goes deep, you guys. It goes really, really deep. Guys, the food industry is something else. It goes really, really deep. And those restaurants, all of those places that you're going, is triggering good things in your mind that is making you come back for more. So it's an addiction. It's an all-around addiction. But as I said, find out what it is that is making you overweight in the first place. Because if not, you're going to be just like I was before, on and off a journey, gaining and losing weight, on and off. And it's just going to be a repetitive cycle. I talked to you guys and broke down my situation with you guys in a video that I'll leave here in the cards or somewhere. But a lot of times it's trauma. It could be different things we went through as a kid that we're not addressing, um, different things that a job, a husband that's making you unhappy. You can be an unhappy mother that don't know how to balance your time. So you turn to overeating. It's so many different things. It could be some financial. I'm telling you guys, it's so many different things that can trigger you to overeat and just self-sabotage yourself. You have to figure it out. And if you don't figure that out, you are headed nowhere just fast. You have to, and these are all things that I did. So when I'm talking to you guys, I'm talking to you guys about what I've done. But you have to take the necessary steps to, when you're in a situation, say for instance, you're the only one up in your house at night and you feel like, I just wanna go to the fridge and eat. You have to develop better habits. Pick up a book and read it. I don't know, maybe you hate reading. 
um, jump up and down if you can. That's getting a workout and the exercise. And really what you should be doing, developing healthy sleep habits. You won't have that problem, but I do understand a lot of people are up late at night, scrolling through social media, looking at the news. There's so much going on in the world or looking at doing whatever you're doing. I recommend try your best to go to sleep. But if you can't, do something that might be ridiculous, that disrupt the flow of your unhealthy habits that you have now. As I said, jump up and down, go work out, do something, do burpees, do push-ups, do anything that you possibly can to get your mind in a position to where you're not thinking about eating. That's not the only thing that's on your mind. That's not at the forefront of your mind. Really what I'm trying to get you guys to do is change your way of thinking. A lot of times, everything starts in the mind things starts in the mind and it ends in the mind so if you could change your way of thinking that would be super awesome because this is what's happening you've been doing something for so long that your mind the front of your brain let me just give you guys a little lesson real quick the front of your brain can only hold so many thoughts so many things right it can't hold a whole bunch of stuff what's happening is your subconscious is holding all of this stuff your subconscious is like the computer of your body right the memories everything you remember from back in the day all of that stuff is held in the subconscious so when you're feeding yourself negative things negative thoughts negative habits negative whatever the subconscious holds on to that and it feeds your brain that telling you it's okay you're used to this and different things like that so <laughs> the thing is you have to change what's back there in your subconscious so that's why disrupting the flow of your unhealthy habits will help you to feed thoughts into your subconscious to make you change what's going on in the forefront of your brain which then will change everything that you're doing in your life so of course in the beginning it's going to be irritating daunting uncomfortable but you have to get uncomfortable to make yourself comfortable later on down the line that's what it's all about getting uncomfortable in this unhealthy situation that you've created for yourself so you want to feed yourself better thought i just gave you guys a whole recipe to change right then and to change binge eating to change you being overweight i just gave you a recipe right there you feed that subconscious better thoughts and push it to the forefront of your brain and then you will become a different person and will change the way that you are sometimes you guys we go through so much on a day-to-day -day basis sometimes all we need is somebody just to talk to so if you are going through something look into therapy i know a lot of people don't have good experiences experience experience is with um therapists and stuff like that i'm not anti-therapist i'm not either way but sometimes some of us do need people to talk to and a lot of times when you start to dig deep inside and Un unback your garbage that you have from childhood trauma or your husband cheating or whatever you have going on sometimes you need somebody to talk to look into therapy look into find i don't know look into talking to somebody in your family that you can trust sometimes we hold so much in on the inside especially us as women mothers whatever we have going on college students but us as women a lot of times we hold a lot inside that we just need to let out and vent so don't hesitate to find somebody to talk to heck get in these comments talk to me talk to the other women that's watching this video sometimes it's just a matter of just venting you guys but implement all of these steps that i'm talking to you guys about and i guarantee you that is the end that will be the end of you binge eating all together just all in all but i do want to encourage you guys that there is light at the end of the tunnel. You can do this. You can get through your binge eating situation. You can get through being overweight and fat. If I can do it, but you can do it too. As I always say, nothing makes us different except what we look like. We have the same, we are, we are created the same. We have the same 24 hours in a day. And if I can do it, you can do it. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Believe in yourself. Once you get this right, you will be right all together. I'm keeping you guys in my thoughts and the, the I know I understand it's a hard thing but you can definitely get through it you can definitely get through it don't sit there and feel sorry for yourself get up and do something about it you guys do something about it i will see you guys in the next video bye booze